Hi, I'm John from Autel. This is our brand new TS900 tool. Not only is it one of the best TPMS tools available, it also offers advanced diagnostics featuring bi-directional controls. But it also offers 40 service functions to cover all the tool requirements that come with day-to-day -day shop operations. Today, we're going to talk about its TPMS capability. More specifically, TPMS sensor programming methods. Though it will test and service the sensors on any car that comes through your bay doors, when it comes to replacing sensors, our tools are designed for use with our MX Sensor 1 sensor. This is our universal programmable sensor. It's also designed for use with Autel's new Bluetooth TPMS sensor specifically designed for newer Tesla models. At Autel, we're always looking for ways to make the repair process simpler and more straightforward for technicians at all skill levels. One way that we've done this is by innovating our Copy by OBD sensor programming method. You should be utilizing this method every time you're servicing a vehicle. It reduces the margin for error and will give you great results every time. Here's how it's done. First, power up our TS900 and insert the VCI150 into the vehicle's OBD2 diagnostic port. Place the ignition in the on position and select the Auto VIN Detect option on the TS900. This tool will automatically identify the year, make, and model. Let's go ahead and check each TPMS sensor using the TS900. Once we've attempted to activate each of the sensors, tap Diagnose on the next tab. The tool will communicate with the vehicle and display the Diagnose screen. In the left column, we can see the sensor IDs and locations as identified when we tested the sensors by activating them. The second column displays the sensor IDs and locations as they're stored in the control module. Having this data side by side for comparison allows us to identify any incorrect wheel locations possibly caused by a previous tire rotation. Usually, when we see mismatched locations, it means that the tech who worked on the car previously failed to perform the relearn procedure. We have identified from the diagnose that the left side rear sensor is not working correctly and the wheels are in the incorrect location based on the module information. All we need to do is select the left side rear wheel location and tap copy by OBD. Even if the original sensor is missing, we can use the module data to create a replica of the original. Hold the sensor near the upper right corner of the tablet and allow a few seconds for the sensor to program. You can then install the sensor in the correct location. We can now move on to the relearn procedure to ensure that the wheel locations are displayed correctly on the dash. On a side note, if during the diagnose process, we determine that the wheels are in the correct location, it eliminates the need for the relearn altogether. Now let's take the car for a quick drive to verify the TPMS light is out and the system is performing correctly. The light's off and we're all set. For more information about Autel TPMS or any of our products and services, visit us at autel.com. We'll see you next time.